Welcome to the Spoon Fork Heart Kitchen. สวัสดีค่ะ My name is Jerry. Today I gonna show you how to make a green curry with meatballs. Or for Thai people call this แกงเขียวหวานเนื้อ Let's look our ingredient: coconut oil, cooking oil, fish sauce, salt, pepper, Parmesan cheese, ground beef, palm sugar, egg, sweet basil, sweet pepper, cafe lamb leaf, cilantro, green curry, coconut cream, coconut milk, and pasta. We're gonna start with the first. We're gonna start with our meatball. Okay, I have my ground beef and one egg. Salt and pepper. I gonna add a little bit our fresh herb, some a little sweet basil, not too much, just a little, and some cilantro, a couple. Okay, and I gonna just chop them really fine. We gonna add our uh, fresh herb inside the ground beef. And next, cheese. I say already last video, everybody loves cheese, so I gonna add the Parmesan cheese and to the uh, this uh, cow beef. And this gonna be uh, enough for the cheese. And now I use your keen hand to mix all this together. The best way is use your keen hand. Try to. Mix and everything until the will come by and come to be like thick, and you can make the the ball. Okay, and this is perfect way that we looking for for the cow beef. They have to be nice and thick like this, and now we can uh, make our meatball. You know, want the meatball? Um, if the size it depend what you like, but I gonna make just a medium size. It's kind of like small, not too big. Okay, and now uh, I'm done with all the meatball. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hand and going to the next step. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, give the this sweet pepper slight. And uh, I just try to remove all the seed, and I don't want to use this seed. Okay, and now I'm gonna. Give this meatball a sear. So just go ahead and turn on the stove and put your cooking oil. And you keep cooking oil just a little. And now, when we do this right away, just uh, cook your pasta. Just follow the direction uh, for your pasta. Pick your favorite pasta. But this one, I got it from farmer market, so they um, are very special. When you allow your pasta to be cooked, so we're gonna uh, go ahead and uh, sear our meatball. And now I'm ready to turn to the other side. You don't have to cook this on the hundred percent because you have to allow your meatball to cook inside the curry to finish it. Just gentle turn this because you not want to bake uh, your meatball. And then now uh, our meatball is done. I gonna just move it all to the plate and put on the side. Right away, uh, my pasta is done the same time too. Okay, and then I gonna remove the pasta also. And now we're gonna uh, come and make our meatball sauce, which is a green curry. Okay, I'm gonna start with the coconut oil. When your coconut oil hot enough, uh, green curry. You can put uh, much if you like a green curry. 
I'm gonna use like four tablespoons. Okay, I love this green curry. Oh, this is really, really, really good curry because this is homemade. And when they give you really good smell already, all the fragrance and everything uh, come out from the curry. Add your coconut cream. Okay, and continue stir until your coconut cream give you the extra oil separate. Okay, and this step might take a little bit long, about five minutes until the oil and the, from the curry and coconut is separate and fall to the top. Now we're ready to the next step. We're gonna seasoning this with the fish sauce. I'm gonna put the about two tablespoons for this fish sauce and give them the meat and also the palm sugar going now so they can be the uh, dissolved for the palm sugar okay and give them a continue mix this until palm sugar all dissolved and now our palm sugar is all dissolved and I'm gonna add another uh, coconut milk and allow this to be cooked and continue stir them and allow this to be a uh, coming boy again before I add the meatball on the medium low heat you allow your curry to come and boil again and now you can add the meatball okay add it all the meatball allow the meatball to cook too in with this curry look how beautiful this color the green curry and then the allow this uh, meatball and the green curry to cook another 15 minutes and I gonna on the low heat the medium low heat and I gonna put the lid on it and just leave the gap on so the steam allow the steam to go out and medium low heat about 15 minutes and we will come back and check our meatball okay and then now the green curry and the meatball be cooking 15 minutes and they cook well together already now I gonna give it the taste so let's see we might need something or this one be perfect. Just give it a taste. Hmm, that's so good. That's so good. But uh, I need a little bit more salt, so I'm gonna add a little bit more salt. We're getting a little bit more um salty. Okay, and now I'm gonna put our all the herb and vegetable. I use the sweet pepper for this, so just go ahead and put it in. in. Okay. A little cilantro, just tear and put it, give them an extra green in here. Okay, coffee around leaf, just hold the center and um, just tear them and put. We just need the flavor from the coffee around leaf. Okay extra okay same thing I use three big leaves of the cafe ram leaf and also for the vegetable you can use um, different vegetable that you like you can use tight egg pan or you can use a uh, quart flour or your some your favorite vegetable okay as sweet basil normally for the Thai curly we use a Thai basil but for this um, recipe that we, I promise you are gonna use the ingredient the one that I got from the farmer market and I have the sweet basil for this recipe it doesn't be perfect too okay and just give them the lot mix and we're gonna and we done here we done our king curry with meatballs and now we're ready to make a plate for this one you can you you can eat this with the noodle or pasta or rice okay just put your meatball on top and put the green curry the mud that you like here now we finish our green curry with meatball and let's taste the food Okay, now let's try our meatball. I'm gonna cut this open. Oh, look how juicy. Okay, and I'm gonna grab a little bit of noodle and the paper, everything is big by again. Ah. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. 
Always, always so good. I don't want to stop to eat it. It's all so good. The meatballs, so tender, juicy, and the curry, creamy, all the fresh herb because you make your own skin curry place. So everything is so good. You can eat it with rice or your favorite pasta. And then you can have the side with the boiled egg like I'm having today. You have to give it a try. It's so easy and so delicious. You will love this recipe. I'm gonna have to finish this. I'm gonna finish it plate like now after I done. So thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, if you like my recipe, please give me a thumb up, subscribe, and you will see me for the next recipe. Thank you.